And what we're going to do today is we're going to discuss the Omnicam. Now, uh, I've grown up with Sarek over the last nine years, and I've used the red camera, the blue camera, and the Omnicam. All great systems, no doubt. I've done big, huge uh, veneer cases, even with the red camera. It's so exciting to finally have a camera that uh, doesn't require a powdering agent, but also that it sees in color. It is unbelievable. And whether you're a brand new Omnicam user or you're looking to possibly get Omnicam, what I'd like for you, us today to do is go over the tips and tricks of using it, the proper ways to hold it, uh, use it in the mouth, and things that can keep you from getting into trouble. What I like about the Omnicam is the size of it. It is quite small and you can get it around in the mouth uh, very easily. Now it's important to know how to actually hold it. Uh, many of the trainings that I've done, the first uh, inclination of holding it would be to hold it very high up here like a tight pencil. What I would say is you want to come back on it on this gray portion here because then the weight of the uh, electronics doesn't seem so uh, out of balance. So hold the, the camera in a pen grip like this with the palm of your hand just on the gray portion. I've also been known to use it in an overhand area like this. Sometimes you can get a little bit more uh, leverage as you're holding the electronics and over, but this would be in a situation where maybe you're coming from the front of the patient. But typically, when you're sitting next to the patient and you're coming back into their mouth, a pen grip will probably be the best way to hold it. 